So being as we're talking about the governor system, we'll start with the governor arm. And we can see that the governor arm has this governor spring attached to it, and the other end is attached to this permanent fixture. This makes the governor arm spring back when we pull it like that. And for very good reason, and I'll explain why very shortly. And the other important structure on the governor arm is this governor rod. And this comes all the way up to the throttle lever on the carburettor. And we'll understand much better how all of this system works with each other very shortly. But for now, if we just take a look at the governor arm in this position where the spring is pulling it this way, and of course pulling the rod this way as well, thus pushing the throttle lever this way, then we can see that the result of that is that the throttle plate or the throttle butterfly is in the fully open position, meaning that maximum airflow can go through into the engine. So that means that when the governor arm is in its pulled back position, the throttle plate is in its closed position. So you can see that happening there. And so with the way this is all designed, with the spring pulling that way, the throttle plate is naturally open when the engine is not running. OK, so now I've explained that, we can now have a look at the heart of the governing system, where it originates. And where it actually originates is inside the sump of the engine. And now we can see into the sump, it's easier to show that the governor arm is directly connected to the internal part of the governor arm here. So when I move this, you can see that the governor arm on the outside is moving as well. There's a special gear that sits inside here, and that's this gear here. As we can see, this is not just a gear, because when these wings open, it pushes a special plastic part in the middle outwards. And the way these open is by centrifugal force. This circular cutout piece sits on the end of the camshaft like that, excluding this part here, which I've put on to stabilize the camshaft. So when the gear is placed in position, that special plastic part in the middle sits there on top of the inside governor arm. And the cogs on the gear are splined in with the cogs of the gear of the camshaft. And so when the engine's running and the camshaft is turning, that turns this gear. It will be spinning incredibly fast. And this will happen. These wings will spread out under centrifugal force as the gear turns. And as we know, that will push this centerpiece out. And when this is in position and that plastic centerpiece is pushed out, it pushes down on the lever. This whole rod is forced down against the spring and that closes the throttle plate. And this is basically how it governs the system. So the engine starts on full throttle, maximum airflow, the engine will of course turn and get up to speed, but because of the maximum airflow in, rather than the engine revving high enough to damage itself, this mechanical governor system kicks in and adjusts the leverage and closes the throttle plate accordingly, thus lowering the revs and of course saving the engine. This system wouldn't be just either right up or right down, it would also work intermediately depending on how fast the engine is running. So however fast the engine is running, this throttle plate will be adjusting accordingly. And so when the engine starts to slow down and this gear slows down, the spring takes over and lifts the lever back up. That pushes the center plastic part back up in place. And that has opened the throttle plate once again. So the higher the engine revs, the more this plastic center is forcing the lever down putting some closure on the throttle plate. And the more the engine slows down, it has the opposite effect and the lever comes up under the tension of the spring and starts to open the throttle plate. And so left to its own devices without any external movement of the throttle lever by the operator, then the engine would find an happy medium at which it would run. And if you like that video, then you might like this one. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.